I pledge allegiance to the taco stands of the United Tacos of America and to the taqueros and abuelas of this great land, one nation under tortillas with limones and salsas for all. I'm Ando Rayo. And I'm Jared Nace. And we're still taco journalists. Exploring tacos and taco culture throughout the United States. Uh, hey, Jared. Hey. It's Masa Madness time. It is. You got your brackets? Uh, the uns- Corn or flour? <laughs> That's the question. So, Mondo, let's talk about uh, something that is kind of... Uh, you know, been making a comeback. Old process. school way. Old school. Way old Nick school. Nixtamalization. That's right. As we know, tacos have been trending. Since, since the Aztec Empire. That's right. Um, and nixtamalization is the process of preparing maize or corn. Corn. Uh, or other grain. And yeah. you soak that in an alkali- alkaline solution. Um, in the Aztec and the Mayan civilizations, they developed the nixtamalization. Uh, they use slaked lime, mm-hmm. calcium hydroxide, or cow, yeah. right? Uh, opens up the corn and, and kind of... Um, opens up the, these different vitamins and minerals yeah. in the corn that you don't get if you don't do the nixtamalization. Right, and then what it does, it, it breaks it down. It breaks down the corn so you can actually digest it. That was uh, nixtamalization 101. Next up, taco shout outs. Get ready. Here we uh, go. One thing that's been in the news lately that uh, Mondo, you supposedly come up with the perfect face mask for these trying times. These tortilla or taco masks. They cover your nose and your mouth yes. and they're edible. Oh, you can eat a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And then when you're done, and you're, when done. you're done. <laughs> you just go get another tortilla. <laughs> Have you heard of those tortilla blankets out there, you know? What? <laughs> what? Yes. Oh uh, my God, you have one too? I feel like a, uh, a West Texas uh, burrito, all snuggled up. This is a taco show. <laughs> Made by the company Mexi Stuff. They mm-hmm. also have avocado coin purses and concha yep. AirPod holders, but their concha slippers are the top seller. Here's another taco shout you have out. Some, you have some mask in your tooth. Right I, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Good job. Okay. <laughs> so Chef AQ. Anastasia. That's right. She's making some amazing and colorful and tasty tortillas. So you got some carrot habanero Delicious. tortillas. Yum. Some ancho chile, uh, basil. Green. That's right. Black bean. Oh, that's delicious. I assume they're black. And pecan. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? I would eat that. So look her up. Uh, Chef AQ out of Dallas. uh, Tacos de Tacha. That's right. And that has been another segment of... Taco Shoutouts. Taco Shoutouts. And this is Masa Madness. That's right. Masa Madness talking to two chefs all the way from their homes in uh, various parts of the United States. Yes. Starting with Kansas City. KC. Marisa Gencarelli uh, from Yoli Tortieri- Tortieria. That's right. And Cesar Cano all the way from Houston, Texas. Uh, Master Chef finalist, one of the lucky few who didn't get yelled at by Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Marisa, let's start with uh, with your story. Gosh, it was actually a long journey. So I have been in the United States now for, gosh, it's about 20 years now. And I was really, really missing. Every single time I would go home, I would miss the tortillas. And, um, you know, I would come back with all the recipes and everything. And it's like, gosh. So we wanted uh, to be able to provide uh, Nick's small tortillas in our market and be able to yeah. actually have my recipes to taste good. And then I was very fortunate that I did have some really key chefs here in Kansas City that they were dying for good tortillas. You know, Cesar, what, uh, what, what is your, explain your connection to Mexican cooking. And, so and- for me, it was a um, personal journey that I didn't embrace pro- till probably three or four years ago. I was finally able to go back to Mexico after like 10 years. And once I went back and started eating all that, it was just like this flood of memories mm. of, from when I was a kid. And I was like, I got to come back and I got to learn to make all of this stuff. Yeah, it's been four years that I first attempted to make tortillas. Mm. And I was like, I'm going to be clever. I'm going to chop up some jalapenos and some garlic <laughs> and I'm going to throw them in there, mix it up. It's going to taste so good. I'm taking Mexican cuisine to another level. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I didn't understand like the texture, the consistency, and they 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 were like biscuits. They were like yeah, you know, little crackers. They didn't come out. They didn't come out right. And I was like, man, what happened? I had to do uh, this shame walk and go to my mom and, go, and be like, mom, how do you make them? <laughs> so I had to go back and ask. Bringing all that together, what does masa mean to you? To me, masa is the fundamental ingredient. It's the foundation on everything that Mexican cuisine is built on. But it's also like, it's a bridge because I mean, this is a technique that was developed centuries ago by, you know, our ancestors that lived and farmed the lands and it's lived on and it continues to be integral part of everything that we eat every day. It just means like, a, like the ultimate most pure ingredient that you can get in Mexican cuisine because it's so it's so versatile. First of all, you have to have good quality corn for it. People tend to forget there's so more than 70 types of varieties of corn in Mexico. Yeah. And so depending on the type of corn, you're going to use different lime ratios to get the best nutrients out of it and the best color and overall composition. For me, it's, it's very symbolizing of overall what it means to be Mexican, you know, which is like really good ingredients, a lot of processes, and it's all about the purity of those ingredients and the execution of them. And then right now, you know, during COVID, um, people are making a lot of bread. Shouldn't they be making more tortillas too? <laughs> Definitely, they should be making expanding in their tortilla world. Good for for everyone watching is because next up, we're going to be watching Cesar make his own tortillas. That's right. And we're going to be commenting on it, like Mystery Science Theater, <laughs> Taco Thousand. It's been awesome talking to y'all. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm craving tortillas. I'm sure even more after we watch Cesar's video. I'm Ando Rayo. And I'm Jared Nace. And this is Masa Madness. We're going to go back to uh, Houston's own Cesar Cano. That's right. And he's one of our favorites because he makes uh, tortilla making so simple. He does. I'm going to show you guys how I make corn tortillas. Okay, awesome. Here we Excited. have the ingredients. One and a half cups of masa harina. Okay. You can use any brand that you want, but masa harina or masa flour is just uh, masa that has been made from nixtamalized corn and then dried out and turned into powder. So what we have to do is reconstitute it with some hot water. What does reconstituting mean? Make it constitute it? Yes. Here I have one and a half teaspoons of iodized table salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my Done. masa harina, my masa flour. Up. Not very hard. So I use the well method to incorporate my liquid. Because if you just pour the liquid on there, it kind of splatters everywhere, this gives you a little bit of control. Here I have two cups of water. It's warm water, I just put the tab on hot and then I, I let it get hot enough where I can still put my finger in there, but it's nice and warm. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. St I'm gonna start with about half of my water. So that's one cup of water, one and a half cups of masarina. And here we're gonna go with two finger swirl. So two fingers in the water. Okay. And then you okay. just start swirling. swirling yeah. Every time you go around, you pull a little bit of the masa of the harina into the liquid. Very much like if you were making pasta. Oh, I like it. It's oh, just an together. easier okay. way to add your liquids. Okay. Gives you a little bit more control. Yeah. yeah you also don't want to beat it up too much because it gets, it's and hard. And then once right. you see it all clumping up, you see you still have some powder, but you have some clumps, then you can start doing the other motion, which is the scoop and fold. Scoop, scoop and, fold. and fold. Scoop and fold. All right, yeah, I can feel that it needs more good. water, okay. so I'm gonna add half of my remaining water. So I've added so far one and a half cups of water to one and a half cups of masa flour. All right, so here it looks like masa, but it's still not the right consistency. It needs to be wetter. See how if I press it against my hand, it's a clean hand. What I wanted is to leave a little film on there. So I'm gonna add, once again, only half of the water that I have. So, so far I've added one cup and one and three quarters cup of water. That's okay. right. Okay, yeah. so I'm still using the there. scoop and fold yeah. method. Scoop and fold with the knuckles. I don't mm -hmm. over mix it, effect. it's just about yeah. incorporating yeah. the masa in there, still doing scoop and fold. Yeah. 
And let's do the test. All right. Let's see, let's see. Roll it, roll it. What's gonna happen? Ooh. Okay. Needs more water. Oh, oh, okay. So I've Wait, never known. Huh? So look, I still have a little bit of water. That's probably an ounce of water. Now it's feeling like so masa. That's so easy. Okay. See that? See all that stickiness on the bowl? That's what we're looking for, because if not, your tortillas come out brittle and dry. See what it does to my hand now? Oh, See that little film? Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. Let it rest for about five minutes with a damp paper towel, and then I'll come and portion, and I'll show you how to cook. All right. All right. Well, so it's been five minutes. I have my tortilla ball. So I kind of flatten out okay. my dough ball. Okay. And then just using my hands, oh. cut it in half. Cut it in half. Okay. Always halves. And then that half in half All again. the halves happen. Okay. And this is how I start portioning. So I take that. Huh? And I just kind of roll it into a cylinder. I'm looking a okay. cylinder about an inch in diameter. You know, okay. you say the thumb, our thumb knuckle was about an inch, so that's about an inch. And then from there, I just start breaking off uh, one inch pieces. So about that much. And then each piece, testales. I like to roll testales. around. That's what they call it, testales. Testales. Testales, the little balls. Mm. Once you have all your tortillas portion, it's time to cook them. Uh, traditionally, it's done on a comal or a griddle, griddle pan. If you don't have that, you can do you can use a nonstick pan or even a cast iron skillet. Those all work fine. So make sure you preheat uh, medium, medium high heat for at least two to three minutes before trying to put your tortillas on there. You want it to be nice and hot. All right, so let's go to the actual pressing process. You need to have your tortilla presser. Yeah. I take a Ziploc bag Always. and I cut circles that are about the size of my press. Oh, um, fancy. They work fine. Then you take each portion, mm -hmm. kind of flatten it out a little bit. And then you just have to know your equipment. Oh, wow, he's doing a little flip. Yeah, nice. Oh, wow. I give Those it a couple perfect. clips, lightly press. So you want it to be about a sixteenth of an inch thick. You know, how do you gauge that? Uh, it's just practice, really. And then to release it, uh, this is a trick my mom showed me. You take one side of the plastic off, flip it over, and then you take the other side of the plastic of off. And then it's ready to yep. go on your hand yep. like that. Beautiful. And you drop Boom. it on the comal. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to cook enough where the edges are drying out, and then the tortilla moves on its own. Like, I don't have to force it or anything. Once that happens, then it's ready to flip. So I got this little corner still sticking. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna give that a few seconds. There it goes. All right. Ooh, so then you flip is. it oh, over. Okay. Ooh, see, that's why you wanna preheat your comal. You wanna get that nice charring okay. on it. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's about 20 seconds, 30 seconds per side. Um, and I'm gonna flip it a total of three times and then your tortilla should be ready. Yeah. Starting to, and starting there to rise. We are. We're getting some of that puff that we associate with the tortillas. Uh, all that steam that from the water that we added is creating and cooking the inside yeah, that's of it. it. That's it. So, well, you know, it's you know, golden. successfully all oh. of it, but it would have puffed up. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the way that Should one be. puffed up. It's been the third time that I flip it. I just give it a quick flip to the side. I like to have that. That just adds more flavor. And then I'm going to bring it over here to the servilleta. Or you drop just, it in. Yeah. Boom. That's Done. it. You just Boom. keep going. Well, that's how I make corn tortillas. Uh, this is a basic recipe. I like to add different flavors to the masa. That's why I, I like using the masa harina. Uh, I mean, nothing beats fresh masa from ground corn. But living here in the United States, in United uh, Tacos of America, this is a perfectly great way to make yourself some delicious tacos. In the I morning. agree. Hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, Thank that you. was awesome. Have a good one. That's Ooh, awesome. That was easy. Man, that was, that was so easy. I know. Like, why isn't everybody doing that? Like, make bread. You got to have a starter. And I know. Kind of sourdough Jeez. mothers. There's and, like people doing know. science experiments at home yeah, right now. Yeah, you got to buy a machine all you, need, all you need is masa and water. Two fingers. And salt. We'll be back. Taco game show. That's right. Lily Lopez in the house, in the we, studio. We're going to pop, drop, We're going to make our own tortillas. Roll. Pop, drop, and roll. Hi, I'm Lily Lopez, and this is a taco game show. Today we have Jared and Mondo making tortillas. <laughs> Round one, maize, corn, <laughs> flour. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, this is actually how oh. it looks. 
Well, okay. Okay. Hey. We have oh, I got the masa. Mama going in into the masa. Yes. Oh, it's masa-y. Tortilla smasher. What's the official name of this tool? Tortilla, tortilla press. press. I'm a, Definitely mm, not masher. <laughs> I am channeling the Aztec gods Please. for this. Please, channel Ooh. your ancestors. And my, my <laughs> I don't my think it's cheating. See if it's not moving by itself. Oh, it's moving by itself. He said I could turn it though. These are little, some little, little Texas. Bernie. Little Bernie. Texas Woo! size thickness. Some Texas I know, I didn't toast. Know we're making pancakes. Size thickness. We have 30 seconds left. Oh my god. Na -na 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 -na. Put your back into it. Yes, that's right. Mash. I mean, press. <laughs> and I'm going to give it another Do flip. not tell my ancestors another I called flip. it a masher. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Uh, okay, I'm going to take a look at Jared's over here. They're thin. They're rather thin. Let's try them. <laughs> That was um, a great tasting <laughs> effort. Thank you, thank you. Of course, and there are mine. <laughs> I actually do like the taste of this one more than this one. These are prettier, but you have to get to know her. Quantity, that's Mondo, you won that round. Yes. Aesthetic goes to Jared. Okay. And for the tiebreaker, yes. taste goes to Mondo. Congratulations. <laughs> Round two, flower. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite way to enjoy a flour tortilla? Whoa. For me, I just like straight, just straight up with butter. Butter, That's yeah. Texas, man. Classic, mm -hmm. come home from school, treat. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, channeling a pizza maker a little bit. Okay. And also, totally the... wrong strategy. Uh, I see smoke, I see smoke. All right, turn that, okay. turn that torch. We you're don't want to burn them, good. they look good. good. I just got worried, I get worried. Needs butter. This is our Ooh. first use of butter this round. There we go. It's a pizza pie. It's really not, this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna hinder your points. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, Ooh, and go. five. Oh. Four, three, two, one. Everything needs to be in the basket. Nice. Mondo, we'll start with you okay. since you won round there one. Oh, we have nice. two. Mmm. <laughs> that was really good right away. Here you go. And we have, okay. <laughs> okay, we have two tortillas over here. Also very good. Okay, quantity. The winner is both of you. That was easy. That was the easy one for me. So easy, thank you. The category is aesthetic and the winner is Jared. What? what? They're good, this is good, but it has a pita-like um, thickness. Pita. For taste, mando. So it doesn't matter like what your tortilla looks like <laughs> or the thickness, as long as it tastes good. Well, that concludes today's taco game show. Mondo, our champion of the tortilla making contest. Will you please take us out? Um, so we'll see you at the next taco eating thing. It is time for viewer questions. Yes, everyone's favorite segment, viewer questions. You ask Ooh. the questions, we answer the questions. All the way from Birmingham in the UK. What? Not Alabama. Not Alabama. Andy underscore low underscore in underscore slow. I'm after some advice on carnitas. Well, you came to the right place, Andy. That's right. We don't really have them over here in the UK. I'm sorry to hear that. I have some pork belly I need to use. Who doesn't? Yeah. I know traditionally it's fried. Yes, but do modern chefs kind of con confit it? Yeah. Yes, that's what I've heard. Yep. I was thinking slow cook in fat in my smoker. Wow. That sounds, yes, do that. All right, here's another question from James Kumiski84. Uh, do you have a basic recipe for a good salsa? Well, hey, James, newsflash, we do. <laughs> 
super simple. Mondo's super simple. hashtag that green salsa. That green salsa. That's right. We all you can get is ten. Count them. Ten jalapenos. And put them on each finger. Put them on each and finger. You'll be Edward Jalapeno hands. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So you get them out of your fingers and you put them in, in in a pot with water and you boil that. Okay. All right. With um, maybe a little bit of garlic. You How put long? It, uh, uh, you boil it for like a good hour. An hour. Yeah. Like okay. you know, like you just until they're soft. Okay. That like, takes about an hour. Got I, I mean, know. put it in the blender. We're professionals. Yeah. You put it in the blender. Uh, you put uh, your jalapeno, you put your ajo, and then salt and special sauce, special ingredients is canola oil. And that's it, done. And that canola oil and it's creamy. And that was it, that's masa madness, y'all. What's your favorite masa? Do you roll your masa or do you? Do you buy your own? Buy your masa. Tell us where you get your, your best tortillas That's and, right. or your masa fillings or who's your masa connect? You know what I'm yeah. saying? So tag us at United Tacos of America. All right. See, we'll you, see next you next time. time. There will be more tacos.